Dinah Biddle and I had known each other for several years. I was at American Fidelity for 30 years. We had a mentor program within American Fidelity. She actually came straight to me and said, I want you to be my mentor. When she came to me, she says, this is what I want. How do I get to that? And that's what we would spend time talking about, especially in the type of organization that we had, is what would help her to understand the organization even better. She accomplished her goal, which was to be the chief information officer, which she is, and she's also a senior VP in the organization. I think at that level, leaders need to be focused on the future. A leader needs to be a risk taker. They have to be very clear about what that vision is going to be for not only that division, but also for how that division fits in with the rest of the company and how it will support it. And she's been very clear about that. And I think that's a great attribute that she has is that ability to articulate it. I thought one of the greatest skills Diana Rare had was the ability to take something very complex and make it understandable. Okay, at the University of Central Oklahoma, she went for her uh, degree in mathematics and computer science. Getting that degree was furthering what she felt like she needed to do for herself within an organization. We have a lot of women in technology, not a lot of women in upper management or upper levels in the organization. So I think that's quite a coup for her and for women. I think she becomes a good role model because she's so involved in math counts, in STEM, even here at the university, she would help do panels. So she is a role model, I think, for the young women coming up that are in technology that can say, I can do that too. When I think of Diana, she's like the Energized Bunny. Keep going, keep going, keep banging the drum. And I've always said, that's Diana on steroids. She's this person, she has her relationship with her family, she has a relationship with the company, she has relationships with other entities outside. She's into photography. She does, has done a lot of photography. She's here, she's there, she's doing this. She's running a division and an organization. She's doing volunteer work for the university and other places. But that, I think that really speaks to her passion. And that's what I admire about her. I think it distinguishes exactly what you think of when you look at somebody that's distinguished, especially in a particular area when there's a lot of people in that is who has gone above and beyond what is not only expected but they've gone above and beyond because they wanted to. She's trying to better herself no matter what the environment is. She's always trying to learn and people are learning from her.